Hello everyone, here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can display only selected color images in your Shopify store. So this video is specific for refresh theme. If you have any other theme, then I have already created a lot of videos with different themes. So I will be adding the link below in the description for the playlist. So you can watch uh, that specific video for your theme. So right now here on my screen, you can see that if I am selecting black color, so this black color uh, image is displaying, but below you can see that we have also some other images which are displaying, which are not uh, black color images. So similarly, if I am uh, selecting white color, so you can see that this white color is displaying, but all the other images are also displaying. So we are interested to hide all the other color images and only display specific color which we have selected uh, over the swatch. So let me show you step by step that how you can implement uh, this same thing into your store. So firstly, you should go to the dashboard of the store and here you can see that I have uh, installed refresh theme. This is the latest version. You should click on these three dots and then duplicate this theme. So in that way, if you have any problem or something, you can later on roll it back to its original version. Once you have done that, then we have to follow the documentation. So I have already uh, written a documentation. So for example, here you can see that the first step is uh, you can update all text of images in the gallery for each product. So what does it mean? So you should go to products. So for this, uh, I am taking the example of this product, for example, embody flared leggings. Okay. So this is the gallery of the images. So make sure that all these images are already uploaded here according to the color. And then after you should click on each single image and put the all text in this all text, you need to put the color name which we have over there. For example, these are the color names. So you should click here and uh, for example, this was the ice blue. So you should copy from here and then click on this image and paste it right here. And then you can save the changes. Again, you should click on this arrow, paste the name of uh, that color, which is also the ice blue again. And similarly here we have ice blue and now we are putting ice blue here as well. And if we are going to the next, you can see we have black. So you should close this and here you should copy the black color, which is this one. So you should copy the exact name, which, which is over here. So you should not do any kind of mistake, which is uh, like spelling mistake or maybe the capital B or something like that. So again, I am going to put for black. So you should paste that alt text here, go to the next image and paste it right here. Click on save similarly for this one. and for this one so all these images i have added for the black color now we have the white color so you should scroll it down here we have the white color copy it and then click here and you have this white color image so put the alt text for this uh, white color image we have actually the four images for now if you have more than four then still you can uh, add the color names in each single image so make sure that for all the other products as well. So you should do the similar thing because in that way. So now we are finished. Okay. So you should close this and we have, we are done. And now, for example, I am refreshing this page. So right here, see, same thing is happening right now because we have not done anything yet. So go back to the dashboard and here we are going to add some additional code. So you should click on these three dots and click on edit code. You can see that we have some uh, folders and files. So now what exactly we are going to do is, so we are going to follow the documentation. So you should go back to the documentation and here you can see that we have completed the first step. Now the second step is go to snippets and open product dash media dash gallery. So you should copy and then uh, search it here. And here you can see that we have product dash media dash gallery dot liquid. And again, in the documentation, we have to add the attribute data dash main dash color equals to double quotes in first ul tag so basically we have a ul tag scroll it down and here we have line number 59 we have a ul tag and inside of this opening tag we are going to put data main color and then after the next thing is add class this parent ul dash main so actually we are going to paste this class name also so here we have the class and we are going to paste it right here so now you can see that we have pasted this class name. Now we have the uh, next step, which is paste below code inside a first li open tag. So I'm going to copy these four lines of code and go back. And here you can see that we have li tag in this. 
so basically we have multiple ally tags but make sure that this is the first ally tag so inside of it we have this actually opening from here this is the angular bracket and this is close angular bracket so just above it we are going to paste those uh, four lines of code and then after we have to paste below code inside the first ally opening tag which are under loop so you should copy this complete uh, line of code I mean these are also four lines of code you should copy and scroll a little bit down and you can see that we have this loop inside of it we have another ally tag and inside of this ally tag or uh, opening tag you are going to paste the same way in the four lines of code okay once you are done scroll it down and we have the third uh, step which is go to last ul tag so basically we have two ul tag here let me search it here so right now on the top you can see we have this one and another is at the last here so you can see we have only two ul tag so we are now moving ahead with the second ul tag so inside of it we are going to put this attribute similar to the first one which we did before so we are going to paste that data color equals to double quotes and next step is we are going to copy this uh, class name and put inside the ul so here we have the ul so we are going to paste that so you can see that we have added a class inside of this ul and then the next step is we are going to paste this code inside of first ally opening tag so basically if you are scrolling little bit down you will see that in this ul tag we have uh, this first ally tag and inside of this opening tag we are going to paste those four lines of code now the next step is uh, we have to paste below code inside the first ally opening tag which is under loop so these four lines we are going to paste uh, scroll a little bit down and you will find that we have a loop here which is for loop and inside of this for loop we have another ally tag so you should scroll and uh, enter key press the enter key and then paste those four lines of code so finally we end up with all the steps so that's it for now so you should click on save and this was the end of the documentation one last thing which we have left here is uh, here you need to search gallery you will see that we have media-gallery.js so you should replace this complete uh, file so firstly you should remove this code and then go back and here you should open this media-gallery.js open this file and copy this complete code and then after you should paste it inside of this media-gallery.js and then after you can save the changes once the changes are saved then you can actually uh, see the preview so click on preview store and then after scroll a little bit down and here you can see that we have this product and here we go now you can see that we have only selected color images displaying at the bottom if we are changing the color so automatically uh, that specific color images are displaying if we are clicking on white so you can see that all those colors are connected with those images so you can do this same thing into your store if you have any problem or something you can ask me directly in the comment section so i will create it for you so this was really simple so you can directly copy and paste the codes and uh, follow the steps uh, which i have explained in the video and you will definitely end up with uh, doing this feature by your own without hiring any kind of developer so if you have any new feature to develop or something uh, new to add in your shopify store so you can directly contact me i will help you out in uh, solving the problems and uh, you can also ask me questions below in the comment section i have already added the contact details below in the description you can follow me on instagram tiktok and facebook and you can also join a whatsapp group so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video thank you once again see you in the next video